Hey there everybody, Reviews Empire here with another video review. Today I'll be reviewing a real gem of a toy. This is the Power Rangers Turbo Robo Racer. This is the hard to find Zord of the Blue Centurion from the fifth season of Power Rangers. Um, the Blue Centurion was a intergalactic police officer from the year 3000 I believe. He came back uh, to deliver a quote-unquote millennium message uh, that was saying that uh, basically that uh, the forces of evil across the galaxy were going to band together and attack and yada 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 and that was basically like a uh, foreshadow of space. Unfortunately, uh, the Blue Centurion was damaged, so uh, the Turbo Rangers never got really got the message. Um, but anyway, on to the toy. Uh, it's a really nice little uh, police car. Uh, I like the design, the decals. Uh, it's 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 pretty nice. Um, one thing about this toy I do like is it has electronics. Always gotta love those electronics. You push the little gold chrome button here, and you get. Who doesn't love the little sirens, right? Um, he's a cool little toy. Um. Robo Racer wasn't used all that much in the show. Basically, whenever like the Rangers were like in trouble in the first like twenty episodes, the Robo Racer would show up um, with the Blue Centurion and they'd help them win the fight. And there was a couple times later in the season where the Blue Centurion showed up. In the show, he was about the size of the uh, Turbo Megazord when transformed. Toy form, he is not. He is. Most definitely not even close, but he's still a good little toy. Anyway, to uh, transform him, you want to go ahead and take his bumpers and pull them up. You're going to want to take the front part and just pull the legs forward a little bit. I can't always get it. And then once you got that, you just want to go ahead and spring the legs forward. And the body twists, but only one way, so you have to go this way with it. Now in the show, when he'd start transforming, he'd be rolling, he'd lift up somehow, his legs would kind of go like that. He'd go off ramp, shoot up, and while he's in the air, he would kind of twist. His hands come out, go like this, and then the whole thing just kind of folds down, and he lands, and he's ready to beat bad guy up. So, he's, he's a pretty cool little toy. Electronics still work this way. Um... He's got his little visor. He can have both ways. That's pretty cool. Um, what was really interesting with this guy is he has a bunch of accessories. Uh, he's got a shield, a riot shield. Uh, like like an ex Inspector Gadget version of uh, handcuffs. Go, go, Gadget. Chain handcuff. Yeah. Uh, he's got a... It never really said what this was. It's some kind of blaster. But it, 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 I, I'm thinking it's supposed to be like a giant version of his Synergizer Blaster. And then he comes with uh, two blades. One thing about it though, um, he's got these little pegs, and whenever you insert them, it, it does kind of do some wear and tear. So the more you do this, the worse it's going to get for the little accessories. But you can put them in any way you want. Um, you can have double blades. I've got mine upside down on that one, but whatever. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got a because of the uh, transformation, he can move his arms all in and out like that. Doesn't really have an elbow joint, but it's kind of like flapping action or cross chop, whatever you want to do. Um, how I always like to pose him is uh, with his right shield. It fits really, really snugly. It's like a little rectangle that fits just barely in his hand. I always have him displayed like this if he's in his Megazord mode. See, he's got his little Synergizer Blaster and his Riot Shield. And he, he uses all combinations of them in the show. But you can use the handcuffs too. Yeah. yeah he's a cool little toy. Um... He's definitely not up to scale with the uh, Turbo Megazord. And here we have the Turbo and Rescue Megazords for a size comparison. 
As you can see, uh, Robo Racer's puny compared to them, in all honesty. I mean, I, I like the look of uh, the Turbo Megazord. He's sleek and tall. And then you've got the Rescue Megazord that's just a big and bigger and bulkier version of the uh, Rescue, or Turbo Megazord, rather. And then you got Little Robo Racer. I mean, he, he is a really neato toy. Uh, I, I'm really glad I picked him up. He's kind of hard to find. Uh, he's not he's not expensive at all, but to find him with all his accessories and with battery and electronic working, it it is kind of hard. You just you just gotta look for him pretty hard, and it may take a while to find him. But I definitely recommend getting this little guy. He is he is a fun little toy. All right, that's that's all for uh, Robo Racer. Uh, I'll be continuing my reviews uh, with the. Rescue and Artillotron Megazords. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one. The time has come to make a stand with all the power at your hand. You are strong and you will see a victory. Never fear your